In this demonstration, we're going to talk about Android sensors. And we're going to discuss what a sensor is, take a quick look at the different types of sensors, and then we're going to create an app that is going to get a list of the sensors that are available on a particular device. So before we start to build our app, let's just briefly discuss what a sensor is. And it's hardware that is wired in or connected or a part of your device. And it reads in data from the physical or outside world into your app. And then your app reads in that sensor data and then does something based on what type of sensor and the kind of information you're getting in. Now, sensors operate only in one direction. They're only read only. So you can't control a sensor, but we can read data in from a sensor. And in order to read this data in, we're going to set up a listener in order to receive sensor data and then do something with that data. And this is a listing of the different sensor types. So there are a variety of different ones, light sensors and proximity and temperature and pressure, gyroscope, accelerometer. And the column on the right has a listing of some of the sensors that are available as of Android 2.3. As a side note, the near field communication, the NFC sensor, does not work like the rest of the sensors. So all the other sensors you'll be able to access in the same way, but near field communication works a little bit differently than the rest of them. So since not all devices have all the sensors, we need to figure out a way to find out what sensors are available on a particular device. Now the emulator is not going to be too much help. It only has an accelerometer and that is basically for orientation purposes to see when it's flipped to the side in portrait or landscape mode. So to find out what sensors are on your device, you can use one of two different methods. One's direct, which gets a list of the sensors from a sensor manager, and we set up a listener for a sensor, and then we get data from it. So this technique assumes that the user already has installed the app. Now an indirect method is by including in the manifest file the hardware features that are required to support the app. So this way they don't download the app and install it and then find out that they can't use it because they don't have the right type of hardware. So the manifest would prevent that from happening. So this is an example of what our app will do when we're finished. And it's going to go in and get a list of all of the sensors that are on that particular device. And I have it set up in a scroll view in case there are more that, than in case there are more than what can fit on the screen. But we're just going to get the name and the type of sensor that's on the device. So let's get started by creating a new project in Eclipse. So to create our sensor list, I've just created a new project and it's at least I have mine set up for Android 2.3.3 and in my main XML I have set up a scroll view. So if we look over here in the outline, I have a linear layout and then inside the linear layout is a scroll view and then within the scroll view I just have a text view. And so we're going to set up our app so that as it recognizes more sensors, it's going to fill in this text view within our scroll view so that we'll be able to scroll up and down through a longer list of sensors. So to get started, let's open up our main Java file. Now in my main Java, the only thing I have set up so far is a reference to the text view so that we'll be able to target that to put in the list of sensors. Now the first thing we need is to get a reference to the sensor manager. So I'm going to add that in the on create. So I'm going to put in sensor manager and I'm going to call it manager and it, this needs to be imported and that's equal to 
a sensor manager and we're going to use get system service. Now there can be only one sensor manager so we're going to retrieve it as a system service and the name is going to be sensor service and next since we have a sensor manager we can use the get sensor list method with our sensor manager in order to return a list of all the sensors so I'm going to use a list with sensor I'm just going to call it sensors so this is going to return a list of the sensors to sensors and we're going to use the manager get sensor list and the type is we want the sensor type all and then this gives you you can see the other types of sensors that are listed here that we can get access to but we want to see all of them in this example and I need to import in list and next I want to build a string that's going to contain the information to display back in our text view so I'm going to use a string builder and this lets us create some more complex strings with appending things to an existing string so I'm going to say string builder and it's going to be I'm going to call this message and that's equal to a new string builder and we'll say uh, to our string we use append and then tell it what we want to add on to that so I'm going to say sensors on this device are and I'm going to put in a couple of new lines so we have a little bit of a line break between that and our list of sensors now we're going to get a list of our sensors back in here so in order to display this in our text view we need to loop through them so I'm going to set up a for loop for our sensors so this is our list yes we get um, we're using our sensor manager to get a list of sensors and that becomes sensors so in here oops. so in here we are going to use that list and each one's going to get applied to sensor and we're going to loop through it in our for list and add that to our message so we'll have a text string plus sensor get name so we'll use the get name method and also here you can see other things that we can get about a sensor but we're just doing a simple list and to that we're also going to add in type so we'll have name on one line and then type on another line and to that we're going to append sensor types and again we're going to use get with a sensor type and then we're going to finish that off with a couple of line breaks so that they're not all scrunched up together now sensor types right now we don't have anything to match that we don't have any variables in here what I'm going to do is create a hash of key and value pairs that's going to list all the different types of sensors and the name of the sensor so I'm going to actually paste that in so we're going to have a hash or hash map so we need to import that in and it's still not recognizing this and you know what I needed to put this outside of on create so let me move this up here all right now we're in business so we have a hash map that has a listing of key and values so we're getting our sensor types with the name of it and then this is the actual string that we'll be able to use uh, in the name here so we'll have the name and then the type and one last thing we actually need is to be able to display our message with our sensor types on our screen so let's put this into our text view so we'll have text set text and we want to put in our message Okay, so I'm going to save this and I'm going to test this in the emulator okay so here we have our sensors on this device R and then it's blank so let's see if we go in and set up our emulator to have some other capabilities whether this has any change on the list that we can see here so let me show you what this looks like connected to a device so I'll run it on there and then we'll look at it in the DDMS and then we'll take a shot of the screen okay so here we have each of the names of our sensors and then the different types 
from our hash map.